What's good everybody? This is PK Trainer Fatty with an Ultra League video featuring the Season 7 Premier Cup. And for today I decided to go with a team of Obama Snow, Talonflame, and Swampert. Now, if I'm being honest, I really did have a pretty good time using a Obama Snow lead. It just absolutely decimated especially during this set as you're about to see and as for the uh, rest of the team I decided to go with a Talonflame and Swampert as proper covers but without further ado here in a first battle I'm gonna be leading with the Obama Snow and my opponent leads with a Dragonite so we definitely have the favorable lead here and we're gonna start farming down but my opponent switches in a Venusaur. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go for a quick weather ball and then swap out into the Talonflame, opting to save the Obama Snow for the Dragonite. So we switch in and now we're going to start building up to a Flame Charge. But my opponent is going to be able to go through with a Sludge Bomb, which doesn't do really that much damage to my Talonflame. This is a 100 IV Talonflame and it does have the best IVs possible for the Ultra League. Here we're gonna go for the Flame Charge and we're gonna be able to take out the Venusaur. Now my opponent brings back in their Dragonite and we're gonna quickly build up to a Brave Bird. Now my opponent will attack with a Dragon Claw which we will shield. And this Brave Bird should at least force them to use their last shield or it will be doing a lot of damage to the Dragonite. So it does take out the Dragonite and my opponent's last Pokemon is going to be a Swampert. We're going to be going for a Brave Bird. I feel like they're going to have to shield up now and use their final shield. And it seems like they do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to continue trying to build up to another Brave Bird. But we're going to be taken out, which is no big deal. We have an Obama Snow left with full HP. And at this point, the game is pretty much over. We're going to be able to build up to an Energy Ball and take out the Swampert with no issue. So here we're going to just build up. I am expecting to take one more Earthquake before we are able to get to the Energy Ball. But it's fine. The game is pretty much over. And if they did have a move like Sludge Bomb and managed to take out my Obama Snow, we have a Swampert in the back with full HP as well. So Energy Ball goes through and we're going to win the first game of this set. Very good game to my opponent there. So here in the second battle, as usual, I am going to be leading with the Obama Snow. And my opponent leads with another Dragonite. So this is the second Dragonite of the set we see. And of course, they're not going to be able to stay in. And they're going to have to quickly swap out into a Ferrothorn. So now we have the lead advantage. We're going to quickly swap into the Talonflame. And at this point, uh, we do have to watch out for the Ferrothorn's Thunder. But I don't believe it's going to be able to last too long. And at that point, my opponent just decided to give up not thinking they could win the rest of the battle. Here for the third set though, gonna continue with the Obama Snow lead. And my opponent leads with another Dragonite, this time a Shadow Dragonite. So we're seeing a lot of Dragonite leads this season. They quickly swap into their Ampharos and we're gonna quickly swap into our Swampert. Now here we are gonna be hit with a Dragon Pulse which I decide not to shield. It does do a bit of damage, but it's fine because now we're going to be able to build up to the Hydro Cannon. And this is going to be doing a lot of damage right here. Brings it down just under half. We're going to be able to build up to a second Hydro Cannon now. So will my opponent use a shield? I suspect they won't opting to save their shields and bring in their Dragonite. So just as expected, they don't shield and their Ampharos will be going down. There's just a bit of lag there. My opponent is going to bring in the Shadow 
Dragonite and we're going to quickly go for another Hydro Cannon here. Now we do have to be careful with Shadow Dragonite. It does do a lot of damage with its Dragon Breaths and those Dragon Claws can do quite a significant amount of damage as well. Here we're going to be farmed down and now we're going to bring in our Obama Snow. However, we are going to have to shield this Dragon Claw. I do not want to take a Shadow Boosted Dragon Claw from a Dragonite. And now we're going to be going for the Weather Ball. My opponent, of course, opts to switch out very quickly. And I didn't quite see what they switched out into, but it was a Gengar. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly swap into our Talonflame now and farm down with the Incinerates. Here we are going to take a Shadow Punch though. But it's fine. We still have the Shield Advantage. And at this point, we're just going to be able to take out the Gengar with no issue. I am opting to keep one shield in the back for the Obama Snow uh, once it goes up against the uh, Dragonite. And my opponent does have the shield advantage at the moment. Not really a big deal because now we're just going to go for a Brave Bird. And my opponent is going to have to use a shield. And what we want to do is we want to quickly swap into the Dragonite as soon as, into the Obama Snow I mean as soon as possible. So we bring in the Obama Snow once our Town Flame goes down and we're just gonna farm down with the Powdered Snows. Here we are gonna use a shield to block the Dragon Claw and finally we are able to farm down the remainder of the Dragonite's HP winning us the third game of the set. So Three Dragonite leads in a row. Can we get a fourth? Are we going to get a fourth Dragonite lead? No, but we do get a Swamper lead, which is just as good in my opinion. Because now we do have the lead advantage once again. Obama Snow demonstrating to be a very amazing lead this season. And we're going to go for a Weather Ball right here. And since Swampert is a part ground type, this will be doing neutral damage. So my opponent will be deciding to shield here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put a lot of pressure on the Swampert. I guess my opponent didn't want to switch out. So here we're going to go for another Weather Ball. And I don't suspect they're going to shield again. Maybe letting it just go through. They just let it go through as predicted. So what we're just going to be doing here is the same. We're going to be building up to those Weather Balls. And here I do decide to use a shield though, as my opponent is going to be going for the Hydro Cannon, just to keep my Obama Snow as, as much HP as possible. We're going to be going for a Weather Ball now. And this should be enough to take out the Swampert. So we're both tied to one shield, my opponent brings in a Charizard. We're going to be going for a Weather Ball here. Hopefully my opponent does use up their final shield so my Swampert can come in and clean up. Thankfully my opponent does use up their final shield even though I don't think that was a very good idea on their part. We're gonna bring in our Swampert and my opponent quickly swaps out into a Clefable so here we are gonna quickly swap into our into our Talonflame. These charms aren't gonna be doing a lot of damage since fire Talon, the Talonflame fire attribute does resist fairy. We're going to be going for a flame charge here. And at this point, the game is pretty much won. My opponent won't be able to do much. Here I do decide to err on the side of caution though and shield up. In case it was a psychic, but it was a meteor mash instead. But it's fine because now we're just going to farm down the remainder of this uh, Clefable's HP. And build up to a Brave Bird, which we will be using on this Charizard. But just before we're able to get to the Brave Bird, my opponent's Charizard is going to go for a Blast Burn, taking us out. But we do have a fully loaded Hydro Cannon in the back ready to go. And this should win us the game. It almost takes out... It, this will be almost strong enough to take out the Charizard. And we're going to have to do just a bit more farming to finish it off. So fourth game of the set. Very good game to my opponent right there. Here for the final match of uh, the final game of the set. My opponent is going to be leading with a Kingdra. So 
This is almost a uh, neutral matchup. However, we still do have the slight advantage as Kingdra is a part dragon type. And we're going to be going for a weather ball right here. Now, Kingdra is an interesting Pokemon. Uh, I do plan to use one in the future once I am able to build up my very own Kingdra to uh, 2500 CP. Just need a bit more dust than candy and we should be able to do it. We are going to be hit with the Octazooka. So Octazooka is one of those moves that I really like just because it does lower attacks. So you can use it in many different kinds of strategies. So our Obama Snow's attack does get lowered. We're going to be going for another Weather Ball. And I'm just deciding to not use any shields right now and uh, duking it out with this Kingdra. My opponent is probably going to have to shield this, but they decide not to and let the Kingdra go down. Understandable. We're both tied with two shields, and my opponent is going to bring in the Gramble. So this is another interesting Pokemon. Uh, definitely a very uh, strong Charmer. In the Ultra League, especially in the Premier, in the Premier Cup, we're gonna bring in our Talon Flame here, and we're gonna go for a Brave Bird as my opponent quickly swaps into their Drifflim. Now, Drifflim is a tricky Pokemon to deal with. It does have access to Icy Wind, which will lower your attack. So we're gonna quickly swap out into our Swampert. I am expecting to be hit by an Icy Wind here. And I think I accidentally shield right there. I did not mean to shield. But uh, that was just a misclick right there. But it's not a big deal as we're going to go for the Hydro Cannon now. And they're going to have to use their first shield. Both of us are tied one shield to one shield now. And my opponent is going to be going for one more Icy Wind. But at this point, I believe the game is pretty much over. Uh, my Talonflame will be able to handle the Gramble with no issue. We're going to be going for another Hydro Cannon here. Will my opponent shield this? They do not, so they decide to let the Drifflum go down. And our switch timer isn't quite up yet, so we're going to going for we're going to be going for one more Hydro Cannon, and then we're going to quickly swap out into our Talonflame as soon as we can. Gramble does have access to Crunch and Close Combat, as well as Play Rough. And here I am expecting to be hit with a uh, either a Crunch or a Close Combat. It was a Crunch. And we're just going to farm down the remainder of the Gramble's HP, winning us the game. So that's 5 out of 5 sets. With the Obama Snow lead, amazing set in my opinion. I'm going to quickly collect our rewards here. And what do we get? We get the uh, Lampin. Sure, I'll take that. So while I'm going to be trying to catch this thing as, soon, as quick as possible, let me just explain this team. I do believe Obama Snow leads are very good in the Premier Cup, especially for right now. I use the Talonflame to really deal with a lot of the Pokemon that threaten Obama Snow, especially the Fighters and Steel types. And Swampert is just generally a good safe swap most of the time. <laughs> and as you can see here, this Lampent is giving me a bit of trouble when it comes to catching. I am just quickly trying to catch it and claim the rewards. But it is being a bit difficult. But regardless, let's see if we can catch it right now. Regardless, uh, thank you for watching my video. I do appreciate your support. If you can like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that as well. This is PK Trainer Fatty, and I will see you again next time. Peace.